Well, we have some fresh snow out here in Michigan. Came down last night. So today we're gonna take the Jeep out and kind of put it through its paces a little bit. I gotta test a couple of things out. It overheated on me a couple of weeks ago. So we're gonna see, you know, if it'll overheat again today. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it was kind of crazy. So I had the Jeep out a couple weeks ago. Rob was over here and we were messing around. I think we were bringing the Ford in. So I had the Jeep out. The Jeep's basically got almost a dead battery in it. So I was letting it charge up and it overheated and I didn't notice it because the electric cooling fans never came on. And this is why. It completely melted the fuse. So the housing didn't get melted or anything, which is weird. I think you can see on there, yeah, it does say it's a 30 amp. So, I mean, those those fans are supposed to pull like 8 amps a piece. It's a 30 amp fuse, so it should have held it, but apparently it didn't. It didn't melt the housing or anything, so I don't know if this was... I've never heard of like a fuse just being bad quality and melting before, but something is definitely funky on it. Um, so this was obviously the weak link. So I'm shooting this intro after the fact because I didn't really plan on making this a video, but it was just fun out there and I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride. Um, we're going to race the Jeep around out in the field. I got to see if it's going to overheat, if it's going to maintain temperature, if the electric fans are going to come on. If they do come on, are they going to melt the fuse down again? We're just going to have to see. So we're going to go out there and mess around and uh, hopefully all is well. All right, we're going to get out here and do some Jeep things. We're in two-wheel drive right now. It snowed last night. I'll tell you what, these Cherokees, I swear they do just as good in two-wheel drive as most vehicles do in four. super fast but it's fun all right so I had a little bit of an issue the other day this thing overheated on me so I'll have to show you guys all of this at a later date but uh, yeah the thing was like boiling over oops Uh, collateral damage yeah so it uh, it boiled over on me so it melted the 30 amp fuse that was inside of the uh, the electric fan relay so I'll have to figure out what's up with that look at that it's like a foot deep snow we're still in two wheel drive now we've cut a path we can maybe get up some speed so I'm kind of trying to see if I can get this thing to overheat on me again oh, we're close to, close to that tree Now that we're up to temp, we can go out and see if the fans are on. So one of the main issues with these Cherokees, I think I mentioned it in one of the earlier build videos where I put this whole thing back together, is they like to blow head gaskets and warp the head, and that's what originally happened to this thing. We got another fuse in there still good it's not melted but this thing uh, was pretty pretty melted before I did put this custom aluminum radiator in it with these three electric fans um, they all are individually wired but I only have them wired into one relay which I need to change I actually need to put a relay for each of the individual fans so I need to rewire this just a little bit, but they shut off, so 
you know, it's doing its job. But uh, it melting right through the, uh, the fuse doesn't inspire confidence. But you can see right there, temperature did come down. So, away we go. Look at that, a foot of snow. We're going again. Check engine lights on, I don't know why that is. I did fix all the problems. So I don't know what codes it's throwing now. There is a way that you can find out what codes are. I don't know, I think I have a video on it. You can cycle the key and do certain things and it'll blink the check engine light X amount of times. And uh, that will tell you what codes are in it. And then there's like a little decoder program that you, a little key that tells you what's actually going on with it. Come on. Get in there now. Our gas service is run now, finally. I was thinking about taking the quad out today. But I'll tell you what, the Cherokee is just too much fun to drift in two-wheel drive. The quad's fun, but it's nowhere near as fun as this truck. So sometimes you just can't beat a Jeep. Oh, we're going into the brambles. Oh, God. Those are hellacious. Those things, like, have one-inch thorns on them. Oh, uh, I failed. Here we go. We're back at it. I'll tell you, I did have kind of like a pipe dream of uh, getting a two-wheel drive Cherokee, putting a big old V8 in it. Two-wheel drive, uh, and uh, just making like a, kind of like a road course Jeep sort of out of it. I thought that that would be a lot of fun. This has to look like the most boring video ever. There aren't really too many good uh, camera angles to kind of show you guys what it's like in here. There just isn't. We're charging up the battery good. We've already went through and eighth of a tank of gas just keeping her matted no 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 come back around there we go what do you think guys am i ready for the whatever triple a pro drift class or what so now let's put her in uh four-wheel drive and you'll see how much less amount of fun i gotta change the lights in here I put a piece of tape over it because uh, at night the lights are just crazy bright. Yeah, see, she's just hooks and books. Once it's in four wheel drive, I mean, we're just hauling the mail now. I mean, it'll just go. It's not nearly as much fun as two wheel. smell some coolant though but temperature is okay all right smell it smell something let's check on her <laughs> everything looks good looks like it might have like a little bit of a leak up here around the valve cover hopefully that's Nothing to be afraid of. So yeah, like I said, uh, these four liters overheat, warp and crack the heads. That's what originally took it out. That's what the engine in the shop is right now that came out of this warped and blown head. Um, there's not a lot of ways to test for that other than constant overheating. And um, you could do a, there is a exhaust gas test that you can do on your radiator. It's got like a tube that fits down inside of it. 
on your radiator cap. You do it whenever it's cold so it doesn't blow out all over. You can fill it with a blue liquid. And if that liquid changes to yellow, it means that you have exhaust gases in your cooling system, which means it's got a blown head gasket because there isn't supposed to be any exhaust gases in your cooling system, obviously. So I guess I could test that. But uh, the fans did just shut off again. So I'm not sure what to say about that. Oh. Well, we're descaling the underside of the Jeep. So I guess that isn't bad. Hopefully we don't lose brakes. That would be no good. Yeah, so any, any drift sponsors, you know, hit me up. I'm basically professional at this point. There's the shop. Well, I guess we're sideways now. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, almost. Hey, there we go. Jeeps are unstoppable. That's basically it today. A little bit of cruising around in the old Jeep. Having some fun, pro drift level stuff. You know what, I had to charge the battery up, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the little rough housing around in the Jeep. Appreciate you hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stuff is still a little bit slow here uh, in the shop because I don't have any heat out there yet And uh, we're still waiting on a bunch of stuff to get done So it is what it is. But I'll get back at you soon. I promise. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one